If any of you work in this building, you may have seen me around because normally I'd be sitting on your heads two floors up as I work for the UK Renal Registry. I also volunteer for the Alzheimer's Society as part of their research network. And in December 2012, I got a diagnosis of early onset Alzheimer's disease. And as a result of that, I've become a participant in clinical trials. So how come I actually got here? Well, when I got diagnosed, I had two questions, or my first, I had lots of questions, but my first two questions were, how long have I got? And in response to that, I got 18 months to two years before I'd be needing quite a lot of care and help to live with dementia. But as you can see, we're three years on from that now, and in fact, nearly four years, and I'm doing just fine. But my second question to the consultant was, what research is there that I can get involved in? And his answer to me was, I don't know of any. And I wasn't particularly impressed because you'd expect the expert to at least have some idea of where I could go to find out about clinical trials or, or any sort of research. So I went to the Alzheimer's Society's website and I found their research network and that's how I got involved with the Alzheimer's Society and research. In the interim period, you may have heard of Joint Dementia Research, and this is a very quick plug, but if you haven't heard of it, please just Google Joint Dementia Research and see if you'd be interested in signing up. You're not committing to anything other than letting researchers contact you, and they need people with dementia as well as those without. But my first encounter with Liz, Liz Coulthard, from the University of Bristol was on um, Phil Hammond's breakfast show a couple of years ago and she was talking about the radar trial and that was the first I'd heard of it. You may have heard a bit more about it today, I don't know, but no time at the moment to go into it. But as soon as I heard what Liz was talking about, I said, right, I'm up for that, can I volunteer for it? And she very kindly said, yes, you can. So following on from that, that was a one-year trial. Um, I don't know if I took the drug or the placebo, waiting to see what the results are, but I thoroughly enjoyed it and I learned a lot. Since then I've become involved in seven other trials. They have a load of acronyms. We've had RADAR I've just mentioned. We have ALF, IDEAL, MADE and quite a few others. I won't go into what the acronyms mean but it's, um, I find it very interesting and I've been to London, Exeter, Plymouth and Bristol as a result of those trials. So what is it like being involved? I find it's great. I get so much information, I find out a lot more about the research that's going on, not just the research to the trial that I'm involved in, but when you're speaking with the researchers, you get a lot of, of new information, you hear what's going on in the rest of the research world, and it, it really helps. So I get an insight into research, but the other thing I get from this is I get a real insight into the progression of this disease within myself, because each time I go they do a load of tests, I get some sort of feeling as to how well or not well I'm doing on those tests. So I get, I probably have a lot more awareness of the decline of my disease than if I was purely seeing my consultant or GP once a year for an assessment. So there's a benefit to that. Every person I have met who's involved in research has been wonderful. They are so, they give you time, they give you explanations, they'll answer questions, and I really, really have enjoyed it. Are there any downsides? Well, they say there's no gain without pain. And as far as Bristol goes and Liz, I have had no pain whatsoever. They've been great. One of the trials, um, I had some discomfort. I had to have a cannula put into an artery, and I guess I've just got tough old arteries because they couldn't get it in. And I was pretty bruised by the end of that day. But I mean, it was discomfort. It was no real, no real pain. Um, so sometimes there may be a bit, of, a bit of discomfort, but you've got to look at the risk against the benefit. And there are so many, so many benefits you get from being involved in a clinical trial. And you hope that you're helping other people. I have been asked if I felt like I was being a guinea pig. And I haven't thought of it like that before. And maybe I do feel like I'm being a guinea pig, but so what? Does it matter? I don't think so. And at the end of the day, some of us are going to be on the trial that finds the cure we're looking for. So if I'm a guinea pig, I'm a happy guinea pig. Sometimes there are side effects of taking drugs. 
Um, again, you just have to deal with those as and when it happens. And if it happens, the people, the researchers will help you deal with those. So again, again I don't see a downside there. You just have to deal with problems as they arise. What do I get out of it? Being involved in a clinical trial, I get an awful lot. It gives me insight, I get a lot of personal information, I get a lot of general information. I think I get better care, although the researchers aren't actually giving me care. Um, I just feel because of the, some of the tests they do, those results go back to my GP. So if there were problems, he can follow up on them. And those are tests that wouldn't be done if I wasn't involved in research. There are so many opportunities to be involved in research. It's so interesting. I just say, go for it. But at the end of the day, all this research gives people with dementia hope. And there's some good news finally coming out of the research. So without hope, you don't really have a life. With hope, my goodness, there's so much to go for. So research, hopefully, is going to give me continued quality of life. And that, what more can I ask for? So that's a very quick summary of my involvement with clinical research. I've had a great time. Thank you.